Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are unboxing and taking a look at the Celtic Astrology Oracle. This is by Antonella Castelli and Dara or Dara Fitz Randolph. So hopefully I am pronouncing those names correctly. This is published by Low Scarrow Bio, and I don't know exactly how much this retails for, but as always in the description box below, I will link where you can legitimately purchase this deck should you want to. So it has a guidebook and 26 Oracle cards, and there's a reason why there's 26, and I know I'm hearing the collective groan right now. <laughs> All right, but it says Celtic astrology is not based on the stars, but on animal, plants, and the cycles of nature, a system earth-based, rooted, alive, and breathing. All right, so <laughs> there are 13 plant cards and 13 animal cards. I um, did a little flip through of the uh, guidebook here so we can kind of understand what to look out for. But here is the ribbon that takes the cards out. I really do love the packaging. I'm hoping this is amazing because I really love the subject matter. So I flipped through a little bit to kind of see, you know, what we're going to be getting into with this deck. And it says we refer to Celtic astrology because in our culture, that word means a system of finding our personal place in the universe, the destiny that was bestowed on the day of our birth. But the system of astrology is not determined by the stars. It is earth based, rooted, alive and breathing. The Celtic Astrology Oracle deck consists of 13 animal cards and 13 plant cards, each corresponding to a time period, just like the star-based astrology. In this case, the 13 moons in the Celtic year. They also correspond to each other. So animal card number one, the stag, corresponds with plant card number one, birch, and so on. Each has its season, its key qualities, and its meaning, which you'll find in the descriptions for each card. And then it even has a chart here as well to help you. So for instance, my birthday is around here. So uh, card number seven, oak and wren. And then there's different ways of using the deck. So you can find out just like we just did for myself what your um, animal and plant is a daily draw by mis mixing all of the 26 cards together you can use it for um, one card in the morning and one card at night uh, and then choices and decisions and relationship questions so it's not just about you know the uh, astrology part of it you can use it as a regular oracle as well and then the wheel of the year there are 13 uh, animal and plant pairs in this oracle each corresponding to a four-week period as well as one of the four seasons so place the two current cards on your altar or some other place in your home to increase your awareness of the energies available at this time of year changing them as the yearly cycle rolls forward keeps you aware of the natural world and your own involvement with nature so pretty cool. And so what we'll do is we'll go through the flip through as always, and then shuffle, pull a card, and then read from the guidebook. And keep in mind, it's not as thick as you think it is. There are other languages in here as well. Alrighty, let's get down to business. It is a gloss, but oh my gosh, is that not beautiful? Oh, love it. Those pretty blues too. All right, so we have a number up top and we have what it is at the bottom. Lots of detail, oh my goodness. Let's talk about the cardstock. It is, you know, low Scarabio cardstock. It is flexible. It's not super thick, but it does snap back. I think it's going to shuffle just fine. Um, and it does have that gloss coating, so it is going to be protective. So cute. I love that it's not just a picture of the said tree, that there's actually a scene going on as well. This is beautifully done. 
I love willow trees so much. I always said that if I ever ended up having kids, I would name my daughter Willow if I ever had a daughter. That would be my name pick. <laughs> It is so pretty. It kind of has not only its own distinct style, but there's a little bit of Art Nouveau in there as well. Beautiful. <laughs> I love the fox. Oh. I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness. There's just a lot to take in. Ooh, that is really cool. All right. Let's go ahead and see how it shuffles. Then we will pull a card, maybe both of the same numbers to see how that works. I don't have an issue with how it shuffles. I'm always going to want more cards, but I understand why this was made this way. Okay, so we'll read for the salmon and then let's find the other nine here. Oh, that's interesting. So... They both have salmon in there. Interesting. Okay, so let's read for salmon first since that's the first one to come out. So plant ally, we have hazel, so awesome. Season, autumn, keywords, wise, determined, and prof prophetic. In Celtic lore, the salmon symbolizes knowledge, inspiration, and prophecy. Those born in the sun of the salmon are touched with a special degree of wisdom. They are the keepers of ancient knowledge brought forward from the beginnings of the world. Salmon folk may feel a, life, a lifelong sense of yearning or displacement, a feeling that something is missing or they need to be somewhere else. They may feel like they are going against the stream and yet they persevere. Okay, and then let's take a look at the hazel. The knower, animal ally, the salmon. So season is autumn and uh, keywords, 
knowledge, lore, wisdom. If you were born during the season of Hazel, you are a highly intelligent lover of lore. You may be drawn to the academic world as a student or teacher, but the whole world is your classroom. Your ever curious mind delights in gathering knowledge. Hazel folk are keepers of information, some as experts in a subject and others who seek from many sources. As a child, your inner, your eagerness to learn may be may have put off those whose minds were less quick. But what can be annoying in youth is a great boon as we get older. The Hazelborn grow into their wisdom and life always holds more for them to seek and learn and know. Wow. Well, so kind of a different deck. We always love seeing different types of uses for divination, uses for decks. I enjoy it. I like having a variety. This is interesting and I feel like it would be a very good tool to just kind of play around with and work with, um, especially too as part of like the wheel of the year. And I really like the idea of using it as like an, a new form of astrology to kind of get a deeper meaning for like yourself, maybe your family members or your um, significant others, that sort of a thing. Uh, I really also love the idea of uh, keeping it on your altar to, you know, keep that uh, energy going. It's really interesting. I'm curious to know what you guys think, though, because this is quite the different deck and it is 26 cards. I think this is one of the fewest card quantities that I've reviewed in a long time. Um, and again, usually low Scarabio decks, they kind of have tend to have the 36 count card for their Oracle decks. Um, so I think this was around like $21, $22 around there. Um, so let me know what you guys think about it. If this is something that you think you would use, is this something that you think has value to you? Um, do you think it would be a great learning tool? That's how I'm viewing it as a learning tool and to kind of dive a little bit deeper into this realm. So let me know what you think. I love hearing all your thoughts and opinions. Um, so let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, for supporting me, for supporting the channel. Just, I, I just appreciate you guys so much. So thank you. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. So thank you again and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.